Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jumpin' here, and this is actually going to be a little bit different than my normal videos. This is going to be an Elder Scrolls Skyrim tutorial video about how to make extremely broken weapons and armor. Um, to start off, I'm going to show you that I'm playing on Master, and then prepare to see some epic shit. Um, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you my weapon. Uh, if you can't tell right away, it's got almost 500 damage. This weapon is called the Long Hammer. Yeah, in my in my personal opinion, I think it's the best weapon in the game because of its uh, passive effect plus the enchantments and everything that's on it. And yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> I thought why not start the video off with a bang. Uh, now this is on master difficulty, and yeah, I just killed that dragon in like two hits. And um, like, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch to my bow. Um, and if you can't tell, this thing is pretty ridiculous as well. It has 400 and. Uh, 53 damage on it, and uh, I only came to this area actually to get dragon kills for this video, and I thought, why not show off some of the power of these weapons, um, you know, like, basically, like I said, this video is going to be a tutorial about how to make broken uh, armor, which, like, you can make armor in this game that will uh, allow you to not have to pay any magic costs for any magic that you want, um, you know, or just whatever it is, and obviously you can get your weapon damage up to, like, ridiculous amounts, and create like extremely broken weapons um, yeah right here this is that was pretty epic like um, I actually killed him right there I actually like did enough damage to kill him and I kind of thought I did and then like yeah <laughs> yeah that was definitely one of the most epic uh, dragon battles I ever had in the game and I was really happy I captured it because of because uh, of that so basically, yeah, right here, I'm just going to go ahead and claim my dragon scales, which are needed for, you know, making dragon's armor, which is, you know, dragon plate armor, which is definitely the best armor in the game. If, um, if you have all the perks into heavy armor, or a lot of perks into a heavy armor, you can get it up to about 13, I think about 1300 armor, and it's hands down the most defense you can have in the game. Alright, so I'm going to start this video out, uh, I'm going to be doing this whole, the rest of this whole video in Ripton, and, um... I, well, the reason why I'm doing it is just because Ripton is definitely my favorite town. I think it's the best town in the game. Um, and yeah, so right here, I'm just gonna. The first thing you're gonna want to do to make a uh, broken armor is to go to a blacksmith. Um, you know, basically, you just want to make a set of whack armor. Uh, I'm gonna choose high armor, uh, hide armor, because uh, you know, and you don't need to make the boots. Uh, I made the boots, but uh, yeah, you don't need to make the boots. But what you do need to make is uh, basically the rest of the armor, and then you're gonna need to make a necklace and a ring. Now you actually should make two necklaces and two rings but um, it's really just up to you um, if you want to do it now or wait till later. And also you can go to the keep to enchant and use potions um, you know but I'm just gonna go to the house because I own the house but if you don't own the house you can just use the castle and that's fine too. Alright so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it forward to the house now. Um, now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, basically what kind of perks I have? Um, now, here's one thing: I do have plus. F I do have all five power perks into archery and into two-handed, so that will get my two-handed and archery up by 100%. And you know, whatever weapon you're going to choose, I would recommend getting those perks. Now, for smithing, um, you know, I chose to go down the right path. Really, the you know, all you need to do is try to get the dragon's armor. Um, and oh, by the way, an arcane blacksmith, it's really not worth it because if you make your own armor, just wait to enchant it. Um, you know, you could on, you could go down the left path and save you like a perk, but it's really up to you. If you want danger weapons, though, you're gonna need to go down the right path. Now, for enchanting, um, you're gonna definitely want to get the you know plus five power to make it 100%. That this perk is uh, extremely useful too because it gives you plus 25% to your armor effects. And then the final one is definitely probably the best perk in the entire game, which is extra effects. So basically, you can put two effects onto um, onto your onto your weapons and uh, armor and I also have fire enchanter that's really whatever it's up to you if you want that or not just better for you know weapons um, now moving on to alchemy is gonna actually I, yeah I actually miss it right here but then um, I figure that out and I go back I always have a tough time finding alchemy um, it's just one of those things now uh, one thing I wanted to mention though is uh, yeah for alchemy though you only need uh, the you only need the five perks into alchemy to double the strength of the potion that's it uh, one thing I wanted to mention is you're definitely going to want to have a hundred smithing and a hundred enchanting and a hundred alchemy to try to attempt to make 
the extremely broken armors and weapons. Uh, you know, and I can make a video in the future if you guys want um, to, you know, explain how to level them up easily. But right here, I'm just going to show you three of the ingredients. There's only four in the game that I know of that can fortify enchanting. I'm just going to show you three. Now, this, this step right here, you might want to do it maybe two to three times to get it right. Um, because, you know, you want to you wanna try to make as, the strongest potion as possible. And the way you're going to do this, and I already have them made, so I'm just going to use the ones I have. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to enchant your armor that you just bought. The whack armor and the and the ring and the necklace. And you want to enchant them to fortify alchemy and basically smithing. Um, it's just so that you can make stronger potions to fortify enchanting. So that's the first step in the fortify smithing too. You want to make potions for that as well. So on the armor, um, all you can really put on there that's good is going to be smithing. Uh, the second effect will not matter. Um, it's a good idea to back out every time and use another one of the potions just to... Uh, keep giving you the boosts in uh, enchanting. Now for the arm pieces though, you can actually put Fortify Alchemy and I believe you can put, um, yeah, and you can put Fortify Smithy on it. So it's definitely, um, you know, awesome because you can do that. I think that's the only other set of armor, the only set of the armor that can do that um, besides the ring and the, and the, uh, and the necklace. So basically next up is going to be the helmet and the helmet can Fortify Alchemy and I believe, yeah, it doesn't really matter what else you put on it. It really won't, yeah, like I said, it just doesn't matter. Because you're not going to use this for anything but for, uh, you know, making weapons and armors and enchanting and stuff like that. Alright, now now for the necklace. Now the necklace and the ring can be both, you can put both alchemy and smithing on it. And you definitely highly recommend this. Um, basically, like, I'm skipping heaven, I'm basically skipping uh, a whole step here. Because, like, one of the steps would be... That you want to basically, uh, you want to basically maybe do this two to three times just to get your potion, your enchanting potion, to be like at least 25%. Um, and if you can do that, then you will, you know, somewhere around that ballpark. If you can do that, then uh, you can definitely make the best potion making and smithing. Because what you're gonna want to do is when you when you upgrade your weapons, you're gonna want to have at least like a really high smithing fortification. And then when you make the potion. And you use the potion for smithing, it's going to also like increase, like basically it's going to be about 200% fortification for smithing. So that's going to be 200% extra damage or 200% extra, um, you know, extra like uh, armor for your weapons and armor. So now basically, uh, you know, now you made the armor and the rings and stuff, now you want to equip them. And uh, the thing that you can do now is that now... Now this would be in your second step, um, <clears throat> you would basically want to make a potion of some sort, like mainly for alchemy and, uh, and enchanting. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, if you could tell, like because of my armor, I can get 25% bonus. The highest in the game is 29%, but don't really worry about that. That really, uh, you know, it's, it really doesn't matter. 25% is pretty good. And then for smithing, it's 102%, which same thing 100% is really all you need uh, it really doesn't matter too much over that I don't think I think it goes 105% at the most so that's about it okay so now that I'm done making the potions now I can go and upgrade the armor well make the armor and weapons and upgrade them so the first thing you're going to want to do is that uh, you know of course you're going to want to get uh, dragon scales and dragon bones to make uh, to make the dragon's armor um, it does, it's, I know for a fact it takes 14 dragon scales to make dragon plate armor and upgrade it. The bones, I'm not too sure about, but uh, it, t it takes a okay amount. So I just brought seven with me just in case. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and make is going to be the, the armor itself. Um, one thing I wanted to show everybody is that basically, uh, if you didn't know this, like when you're forging a weapon or, or armor, it, your, your actual skill in, you know, your actual skill doesn't matter. But when you're upgrading it, that's when it matters. So I'm just going to go ahead and use one of my three potions. You only need two smithing potions, actually, um, for this process. But, yeah, I'm just going to use one of them real quick just to show you that, yeah, it's the same thing. It, it didn't go up at all. It's still 106 like it was. So now I'm going to go ahead and make the armor. Um, <clears throat> basically, you know, it's definitely the best armor in the game. And heavy armor is, in my opinion, way better than light armor. Just, like, like by the time that, you know, you get all the perks you have about like 1300 armor and that's really ridiculous even on master difficulty physical attacks really won't hurt you too much magic attacks of course will but 
that's about it. Alright, now I'm just kind of like showing the armor and stuff because, um, you know, I, and actually I need to make the weapon, but yeah, I was showing the armor right there just because, uh, you know, basically, you want that, from the armor, I'm going to get, I think, about an 84% bonus to uh, smithing, and plus with the potion, it's going to be almost 200%. Alright, so I only have one Daedra cart, <clears throat> otherwise I probably would have made a Daedra bow, but uh, because I only had the one, I'm just going to make one sword, and I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, ebony bow. Come to see you know, but obviously if you had the time and you want, you know, a really, really good bow, I would recommend Daedric bow. Um, Alright, so now it's time for upgrading. So, you know, you have your armor already equipped, so now all you got to do is just pretty much pop one of the two potions that you just made, and uh, yeah. You just go ahead and upgrade the armor. If you can't tell, it goes up by a massive amount. Um, you know, like that's basically 200, you know, like three times the amount that it normally would. Uh, if not two times the amount. I mean, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, but it's mainly, like I said, it comes mainly from the, from the items that you've just made and from the potion. So now that you've gotten the armor upgraded, you're done with that. Um... And if you mess up this process and you have the perks, you can actually, you know, do it. You can upgrade this stuff twice, but you only need to do it once uh, in the game if you have your, uh, if you have it like me. Okay, so now it's time. If you can't tell, it goes up by 120 damage, and the bow goes up by a shit ton too. I don't even know how much it went up, but trust me, it went up by a lot. Um, Alright, so now that we're done with that... Now we can get to the final step of uh, this process, which is going to be enchanting the new items. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to the house now. Um, basically, now <clears throat> one thing you're going to want to do is you're probably going to want to make more potions and uh, for enchanting. I already have seven, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, you only need, I think, you, well, you only need, you actually would probably need about eight. Um, yeah, I think about eight to actually do this right. <clears throat> so basically, I'm going to start with the armor. Now, obviously, if you want to make it so zero cost is on your uh, on your spells, and I'm going to choose destruction. You're going to want to fortify. Uh, you're going to want to fortify one of those, and I picked magic uh, magic regeneration. But I would recommend probably stamina regeneration. If you're going to have zero cost on whatever spell you you like the most, like destruction or conjuration, then yeah, just go for that. Now on the boots, uh, definitely go for stamina regeneration, and I'm gonna go for two-handed weapon. If you were using one-handed weapon, or if that's more your style, then you can go for that as well. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and enchant the, the the gloves. Now the gloves are pretty cool because you can put both archery. Yeah, I, I always get confused by alchemy and archery. Uh, both archery and um, and basically two-handed weapon or one-handed weapon, depending on what you like. And yeah, it's become extremely broken. Um, and then now, finally, for the final piece of armor, which will be the boots. And the boots, I believe, can only have. Um, no, actually, no. I take that back. It's the helmet. Now, the helmet can have uh, fortify magic and fortify archery. So, whatever magic you choose, you know, just go for that. And archery would be probably your second best. If you're not into the bow though, you can put whatever else you want to put on there. Maybe magic regeneration, stamina regeneration, whatever you can do. Um, now you should you should enchant a necklace and a ring. I already have some enchanted so I'm not going to waste my time. I'll just show you what I did. Uh, yeah, but now it's time for the weapons. Now for the bow, I'm going to put fire and ice on it. Ice is pretty good for a bow, but uh, it really doesn't matter. Like. And then finally, I'm going to go ahead and enchant uh, the sword, which I'm going to go ahead and put Absorb Stamina and Fire Damage. Absorb Stamina for two-handed weapons is extremely good because it's so broken. You can power hit them and get all your stamina back from the power hit, so something to keep in mind. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and name this weapon. I'm going to name it Subscribe, so uh, yeah, please subscribe to me if you like this video. And let me know if you want to see more walkthroughs or tutorials for this game maybe like a video about how to level up some of your, your alchemy and enchanting and all you know and every, other skills that you might want to know how to level up fast because I know how to level everything up really quickly um, okay so now it's time to equip the armor and now I'm going to show you my necklaces and my rings um, basically if you can't tell they just lower the cost of destruction and two of them will uh, lower will up bow damage and two of them will up two-handed weapon damage so the final product of this will be that I will have zero destruction costs and my 
for starter, my bow right here, when I have those equipped, will be ridiculous. 452 damage with fire and ice, so it's almost, it's over 9, yeah, it's 500 damage with it, plus the arrow, you gotta take into account, plus the perks and the critical damage and all that good stuff. And then, um, then when I equip my other two items, um, I'm gonna show you the sword, and the sword will have 535 damage, which is absolutely ridiculous. I might keep this sword for myself, I like the name too. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Like, that that's how you make these ridiculous weapons and armor. I'm going to go ahead and show you the destruction um, cost that I'm going to have, which will be zero. So, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend destruction. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it, like, when you get 100 in it. But if you want to get it into 100 easily, uh, yeah, having armor like this will definitely help. You can just spam destruction on enemies until you get 100 in it. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. So I hope you liked this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and have a nice day.